Okay, here we go. So I got some prank kids here. Um, adventure prank kids. And there's a lot that happens in this match. So this is basically how you want to navigate through prank kids. I've seen a lot of people attempt to play prank kids. There's a lot of videos on YouTube of people trying to teach how to play prank kids. They always manage to mess up somehow or fuck up somehow. So this is how you actually navigate prank kids. This is how you properly chain block the entire um build basically and this is how you try to play through as much disruption as possible with the adventure spring kids so the first thing you want to do is try to use whatever you have to try to bait out um, any ash blossoms so i have terraforming um, i also have prank kids place and then i have foolish burial so these are ways to bait out uh, ash blossom before you commit to your normal summon so he doesn't ash, so I don't believe he has an ash in his hand, but if he did, then I would have had prank kids place anyways, so I still could have searched for two, um, to have two prank kids in my hand, basically. Then I'm going to Foolish Burial right here. This is going to send Water Enchantress. Now, if I had not done this, I would get Nibiru, because once I go to make my plays here with prank kids, if I start making plays and I don't have, um, the place set up necessary to stop Nibiru before Nibiru happens, I'll get Nibiru. So I use Water Entrench Enchantress ability to search for Rider of Air's Mirror. I'm going to soak in the, uh, summon the token in defense mode, and then I'm going to commit to my first normal summon. Now, the reason why I'm doing this, the reason why I'm going ahead and putting this token in defense mode, and then I'm committing to my first normal summon and then I didn't search for Draco back is because I want to use the effect of Faithful Adventure to chain block the first summon of or the first effect of my first prank kids because usually that's where you could get ashed so I'm going to use the ability here to chain block so when I go to search for fancies and then send something to the graveyard, I can chain block and then I search for Draco back right here and I just add it to the hand and you notice I don't place it on the field I just add it to the hand, so I hit no when it says equip. And then I'm going to summon out Lampsies, and then this is where I'm going to search for Wandering Griffin Rider. Now, the reason why I'm doing it like this is because now I just search. Um, I basically did it to where if they ash me, then all they would ash is really the Wandering Griffin Rider at that point. And... Um, also, I'm playing around Nibiru because on my fifth summon, so this two summons to get out Mia Mia Mu, uh, the third summon was the Lampsies, the fourth summon, well, if not in the same order, but the, the fourth summon basically would be of the Adventure Token. So I have one more summon before I can get Nibiru, and of course, I'm going to make that my Wandering Griffin Rider. So here we go. So I discard the Draco back, and then it's going to automatically equip itself to the token, and then summon Wandering Griffin Rider right here. That's my fifth summon, and of course he is going to activate Nibiru. So now I've just played around Ash Blossom. I've also played around Nibiru, and those are really the main two cards that this deck has to worry about. Um, this deck also worries about like Droll and Lockbird, but it's not as important. Most people don't run that anyways. It's not that bad for this deck because a lot of the monsters just go straight to the field anyways. Um, and then Artifact Lancia, but that deck only really cuts off the very end. It's like a very end choke point, but if you have multiple um, prank kids in your hand it really doesn't matter anyways it doesn't do anything all it does is stop you from activating the ability of roxies so all right so here we go so what i do right here is just basically um go into my prank kids place and i go far enough to get the effect of doodle doodle do to search for um the first um pandemonium once i get pandemonium in my hand then I'm just going to use that to fuse um, two monsters, one from my hand and then the one from the field to make Rocket Ride. Use the two effects to bring out two more prank kids. I try not to bring out the water. I try to avoid water, and you'll see why later on. It'll make a lot of sense. 
So if you can remember, chain block the way that I just chain block that, activate place last, and basically it'll stop you from getting Ash Blossom when you do any searches. And then I'm just gonna banish the extra place that I have. So now I'm just gonna go into Bow Wow Bark, and I pretty much have my combo set up. Now, there was something I could have done here, which was summoned a monster from, um, I could have summoned a monster from my deck instead of summoning one from my hand. And then that would have given me two monsters on the field. And then instead of searching for an additional monster to have on, um, when I get ready to make battle butler, I could have just gotten pranks and then pandemonium. But that's not going to always be the case, which is why I didn't do it here. So that's why I fusion summoned the one from my hand. So then that way it makes more sense that if if you have two prank kids and then um, something to set up your adventure board, you can do this basically. So that's why I did it like this. So now I'm just going to use the fusion monster to bring back bow wow bark and then doodle doodle do and then right here you're going to search for one print uh one of your prank kids and then also pandemonium the good thing is this prank kids monster will be in your hand um and then when you go to tribute for bow wow bark it'll put the other two in your hand on the next play so i just put down my call by the grave put my pandemonium down and then on their draw phase i just activate this hopefully they don't call by the grave me this puts the two prank kids in my hand that I need. And then he's going to activate Tenyi right here. Now, me, I know that once he places this card, if he links this card off for another card, once he gets a non-effect monster on the field, he'll basically be able to use this card to bounce something back to my hand. I don't want that to happen. I don't even want to let this card hit his graveyard and then him have a token. I would prefer to wipe the field um, before he can get this monster off. So then that way he'll have to use another 10 -E to try to make that play happen. And then I can wipe the field of that one too. So basically he'll be burning through his resources to try to get that one send back to my deck. And I don't mind it. And this is post ban, by the way. So I'm going to summon out three prank kids and it's important to do two waters. So it's important to make sure you put two waters out and then whatever else that you want to summon out. So me, I always send a trap to the graveyard. I notice a lot of people just send place. Me, I send a trap to the graveyard for the simple fact that when they finally do attack into my monster, I can shuffle every prank kid monster back from my um, graveyard and all my prank kids cards from my graveyard basically back into the deck. So that's another reason why me not getting pranks earlier out of the graveyard, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because I'm going to shuffle them all back into the deck once he goes to attack using the effect of plan. And they pretty much have to attack if they're trying to get through the board unless they have a way of tributing off these monsters because they can't be destroyed by card effects. So they have to attack them pretty much. So, Or they can send them back some other way, but most of the time they just end up attacking them. So he summons his Mo Yi right here. And I'm just going to wipe the field of this because I know he's already committed to his normal summon. At this point, I really don't care. I know that Sora Soul can't really play through this. So I wipe his field. All he has is just a token now. And then he's going to send back this card right here, destroying this. And pretty much GG's. And having those two waters on the field was basically going to set up my totally awesome play. So, yeah, that's how you navigate through prank kids.